I had a feeling this is gonna happen. So as of several hours ago, it has been announced via Variety and some other news sites that David Gordon Green has stepped down from directing Exorcist Deceiver and eventually Exorcist Golden Retriever after the, I wouldn't even say lukewarm, but really piss poor reception of Exorcist Believer several months ago. Now there have been murmurs for quite some time since the release and the reception of Exorcist Believer that David Gordon Green was indeed going to be stepping down as director for Deceiver and then the third installment in this brand new Blumhouse trilogy. Once Blumhouse acquired the rights for nearly half a billion dollars, they did a direct sequel to the first Exorcist that was set 50 years later. We had Ellen Burnson come back, which is great to see her as Chris McNeil, even though her part in the movie was quite small and it was cashing in on bringing a legacy character back just for the sake of it, much in vain of David Gordon Green's Halloween trilogy. And at this point, Blumhouse are apparently going back to the drawing board and trying to reassess where they can go from here on out now that David Gordon Green has indeed stepped down, which to be honest, I am not surprised at all. And don't get me wrong, there were sprinkles of good elements in Exorcist Believer, but for the most part it was a carbon copy of the original 50 years ago. There was nothing really new brought to the table. The makeup effects by Christopher Nelson and the crew were great, but apart from that it just had just no substance at all. And after seeing the film I thought, we have two more films left in this trilogy. Where are they gonna go? Can they approve upon this? But clearly not. It just seems like it was too much for him and he has now bowed out. So at this point, the future of the franchise with Blumhouse for the Exorcist is completely up in the air. Now, the article I'm gonna be referencing does come from Variety and they go on to say, David Gordon Green has exited The Exorcist Deceiver, the 2025 sequel to last year's poorly received sequel in the horror franchise. Universal and Blumhouse are searching for a new director. Deceiver has been removed from Universal's release calendar and replaced with Anton Fuqua's Michael Jackson biopic, Michael, arriving April 18th, 2025. Meanwhile, Green is in production on Nutcrackers starring Ben Stiller and season four of HBO's The Righteous Gemstones. So not only has David Gordon Green stepped down, but they have completely wiped Exorcist Deceiver off the timeline for that particular time period, and now they've replaced it with a Michael Jackson biopic. So again, they must be in absolute damage control at this point and trying to think, where can we take this now? And do we just keep going with Deceiver, but find a brand new director? Believer bought in 65 million at the domestic box office, plus 70 million in the international markets. Green wrote the screenplay with Peter Sattler and shares a story by credit with Scott Teams and Righteous Gemstones mastermind Danny McBride who also wrote and executive produced Green's Halloween trilogy. So it just seems like a reoccurring theme where Blumhouse just roll with it. And then by the end of it with the box office numbers, they just don't really know what they're doing. The idea probably seemed good on paper, but at this point, if they are indeed going back to the drawing board, my advice is, leave it for now. Blumhouse really needs to focus on original IPs and original ideas, not just cashing in on these legacy sequels just for the fact of having a legacy sequel and bringing back legacy characters. Maybe even focus your attention on the Elm Street franchise if you're able to pitch a damn good direct sequel or maybe even something just completely new, go for it. Things didn't work out with Believer. And the proof is in the pudding. This is something where you cannot continue on for Deceiver and then Golden Retriever if it's gonna bring in the same numbers, if not less. And all us horror fans want at the end of the day is just respect being paid to what came before, but also doing something a little different at the same time and just telling a damn good story. And in Believer's case, it was not that at all. Before Believer was released, two sequels were confirmed to be in development with Green, McBride, Sattler, and teams on board. Gordon's exit as director is not entirely surprising, as it was reported that the franchise would undergo some creative changes following Believer's poor reception. So again, back to the drawing board. My advice, leave it for now, just because you can, doesn't mean you should. There is no harm in letting it settle for a while. Let people's interest percolate once again. Come back with a stronger story. Come back with a different story that is still set within the universe of the Exes. Do something different. Wow us. Or focus your attention, like I said, on different IPs, unique IPs, brand new IPs, or even the Elm Street franchise. Really focus your attention on that. Crafting a good story, getting a good director. Something that'll make all of us say that is how you do a legacy sequel. At the end of the day, I do feel sorry for David Gordon Green. I think his heart has always been in the right place. I definitely think his strongest points in his career have always been comedies. And then he branched out and did the Halloween trilogy. 
Halloween 2018 was great. I had a lot of fun with kills and then Halloween ends just ended on an absolute whimper. And then we got Exorcist Believer and it just really didn't restore my faith in these legacy sequels and the Exorcist legacy continuing on after what was in my opinion, a perfect horror movie that was made 50 years ago. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts down below of what Blumhouse should be doing at this point. Again, I think they should just leave the whole Project Exorcist on the back burner for now. There is no harm in that. Focus your energy on brand new IPs, new stories to tell, things that could become franchise material, but also wow us at the same time. Love you guts, and I'll catch you in the next one.